Hey guys, Katie e here for Writing Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a look at editing rap vocals. This is the first part in a multi-part series in which I'm going to take you guys through editing and mixing a full song. Today we're going to be specifically looking at aligning rap vocals, and this is usually one of the first processes that I do before I even begin to mix the song. The song we're going to be using today is Doing Things by Marty Grimes, and uh, you can find it on soundcloud.com slash marty grimes music. Alright, let's take a look. So that's the final product. Let's take a look at the uh, raw audio files. Um, this is unpitched. These are raw vocals with just a generic auto tune on them that I use while recording. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this back for you guys. They've been watching me because I've been doing things and seeing faces change because I've been making change so they been it's not as laser tight as i had it in the uh final version but uh it sounds pretty good just like off the recording um marty's timing was pretty good by itself let's go ahead and start debreathing and um deleting all of this room tone um within the recording so i'm going to go ahead and just start zooming in i have uh the keyboard focus on which is this a to, a to z right here and that allows me to use the R and T key commands to zoom and uh, zoom out. And uh, alternatively, you have one through five zoom levels on your um, your numbers above your keys. So let's uh, go to five, for example. That's going to give you a very in zoom, and that's going to get you sample all the way zoomed sample level uh, one, two, three, two, and then one is where I like to keep things when I'm just looking over everything as a whole. So uh, with this, I'm just looking for just kind of the spaces in between um, all the waveforms where just it has this room tone or the breaths. Um, we don't really need these breaths. All they do pretty much, since these are double vocals, is they just add more noise to our overall recording and uh, add overall noise just to the whole song. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And uh, I'm just zooming in and out and pressing B to blade and then A and S to pretty much delete. Okay, so that's the, um, the fully de room tone, de-breathed, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take a look at everything I have here. Pretty much, if you see these vocals, there, there are six layers right here, but really what I have is a left-right spread on each layer. So there's really three layers. What the first layer is are the main vocals, uh, one going 50% um, left the other going 50% right the next I have these spot doubles which essentially only accentuate certain parts of his performance certain words or phrases that I want to uh, pop out and then lastly what I have recorded is octave higher harmonies that I had just to uh, give it a bigger kind of more pop sounding feel even though this is a hip-hop song um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to audio suite and go to other and then get my Vocaline Pro. This is a great plugin uh, by Syncrosoft and uh, it's very easy to use. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of controls here, but really the ones to focus on and the ones I wanna show you that I use. First, you wanna get your main vocal that you want everything else to time align with. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to guide and hit capture, which I just did. And then I'm gonna go to the dub track and I'm gonna hit this dub button, the orange one and obviously hit capture again. And so now I can see both of these vocals right here. And what I'm gonna do is hit align and process. And what that'll allow me to do is spot this process vocal, which just got aligned back into Pro Tools because right now it's within the plugin. Um, one thing to note that I changed was this setting that is alignment. I like to use the maximum compression setting um, because this setting, what it does is it uses compression, which is um, taking the waveforms and smushing them, essentially, using time compression. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit spot. Once I've hit my align and process, I'm going to spot it. 
Um, Vocaline is a very um, simple plugin and it's very dumb in that sense where it doesn't care what you feed it. So um, I can go ahead and take this already Vocaline audio file and capture it once again and reprocess it using the same guide vocal and essentially using the vocal line process twice in a row. And that's what I did. And I do this a lot just to get things um, even cleaner. And uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and play it back for you guys so you guys understand what the uh, what the sound sounds like of a vocal line vocal. They been watching me cause I been doing things. I'm gonna go to the harmonies now. So the harmonies, as you can see, are all the way through and uh, I can use the same vocal line um, method and just use the same guide vocal, hit capture on my harmonies, a line process spot. I'm gonna do it twice like I mentioned before because I like doing it that way and I get good results from it. And I'm gonna spot it twice. I'm gonna go to the one below it, the, uh, what is it, the right side and capture a line process and then spot that too. So now what I have is everything vocal lined except for the spot doubles. Now the spot doubles are gonna be a little bit more tricky because what I'm gonna to wanna to do is feed the guide track only what part of the vocal that the spot vocal covers. For example, I just diced this area right here. This is the only section of the spot vocal I want to align because if I feed it the full guide track, it's gonna it's gonna mess up and it's gonna try to align these different spot vocals to different parts that uh, it's it's actually not doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit guide capture and then I'm gonna hit my dub and I'm gonna go to capture again. And now you can see that I only have these two spots and I'm gonna align, process, spot it again, and I'm gonna do it twice, so, as I normally do. And then I'm just gonna repeat this process for all these spot vocals, so. All right, guys, that's the uh, final edit, here it is. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select over my guide track and press Command H, and I'm gonna heal it up, so uh, it's gonna get rid of all those slices I made. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just play it for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like fully vocal lined. They been watching me cause i've been doing things been seeing faces change cause i've been making change so they been watching me cause i've been so yeah it sounds a lot cleaner a lot more in sync now and uh that's kind of what we wanted um the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to use Auto Align. It's a plugin by Soundradix, I think. It's going to correct for the uh, polarity between the two signals and make sure everything, you know, especially these doubles, that they are aligned and that you don't have any weird frequency dips um, caused by phase. I went ahead and inserted Auto Align on both uh, the main tracks, and I'm going to bring up the uh, left side because that is my guide vocal. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit send one. Basically, that's gonna send the guide vocal to anything that has receive one selected. So I have receive one on the right side, and I'm gonna go ahead and select this delay and polarity because I want it to uh, correct for both. Essentially, now all I have to do um, is hit this detect button and detect the differences between it and auto line will spit out the number of samples that it will correct it by. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take up these two tabs, which are, um, gonna basically tell AutoLine what the input volume to look for is. So um, it's only gonna align the loudest parts, so that's why I have uh, it brought up all the way to 18. I'm gonna go ahead and hit detect, and then I'm gonna hit play. They been watching me, cause I been doing things, been seeing faces change, cause I been making change, so they been Watching me, cause I've been doing things, been seeing faces change, cause I've been making change. Okay, so auto line here, um, it stopped flashing by itself, and uh, that means it's uh, found out the, uh, the difference between the two signals. And um, the samples uh, that it chose were 132, so it delayed uh, this second vocal so it sounds a lot more aligned now and i'm going to go ahead and uh a b it for you guys so you can hear kind of the difference between um the non-auto aligned and then the auto aligned version 
They been watching me Cause I been doing things Been seeing faces change Cause I been it's really subtle, but the uh, the change in phase correlation between the two signals is pretty obvious. And uh, that's mostly what I use this plugin for, but what it also does is it aligns it just that much more. I only use this plugin after I've usually pitch corrected the vocal, but uh, in circumstances where you're not gonna need pitch correction on your vocal, like if it was a straight rap hook, um, I'd go ahead and throw auto align right after I vocal lined it. Okay, so I hope you guys learned a few things today. Please check out the uh, blog post that accompanies this video. You can find a link in the description. Basically, it's gonna go through um, you know, the different products I use in this video and the different options you have to get the same results. And also, please visit radium-media.com um, for the latest updates.